Hello everyone, quick video today showing you that I added support for male and female uh, models for your races. So the way it works is that you simply go to races and select the one you want to modify of course. And now instead of having one single field, you now have male and female prefab. Those prefabs are, you know, pretty um, generic RPG Builder character setup. You will not have to create all of this from scratch. Obviously in RPG Builder there are going to be these two prefabs, so male and female setup for you. And for your own races and for your own um, prefab and so on, you will be able to uh, just duplicate those and tweak some of the values. So I'm going to make a video about this. To show you those prefabs, uh, we have the female model here. So yes, I know it is still a male, but I do not have a female version of those. So for now, we will just uh, tweak the uh, material color so that we can, you know, differentiate them. But that's pretty much it. So let's remove those uh, characters. We don't need them in the scene anymore. And let's go um, in game. So now when you go to the character creation, you see that um, we now have those two buttons here. So one is of course to select male and the other one female. And you see that your model on the right is changing based on um, whatever prefab you have assigned on your race. So that's pretty much it. You can create characters. It will save on creation. And I made two characters here to show you. So we have a female one and a male one. So it is of course saved and so on. And we can go in game now on the female and it's indeed using the right model. So that's it, pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to show except this one last little thing. You can see here on the character slot. So this is showing the characters you currently have. I just made a small update that it is now, you know, not only showing the name, but it is also showing the race, the class and the level. So nothing too big, but um, just a nice little improvement. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it and see you in the next video.